Hi guys, okay, so I'm back with makeup finally. I can't take it anymore with this hair business. So um, basically I'm gonna do like a back in black series and this is my first look. And it's of course not to go out and go grocery shopping or anything, but it's to maybe you wanna go out and like clubbing and stuff. And black is, uh, why not wear it in the summer? I mean, it's a classic and whether it be eyeliner or smoky eye, black is always acceptable in it's any classic season. basically it's a classic like a black little dress which i'm wearing now so uh you know you just wear it anytime you it's want. a classic but since it's summer we want to give it a little different kind of um umph i don't know so this is um i was inspired by the um spring summer collections and this is the Chris Owens inspired look. So the, basically the eyeliner is just underneath and actually she didn't even have the model, didn't even have this top part, but I thought that it looked really weird on me. So I just extended it up a bit and the cheeks are very neutral and so is the mouth. So anyways, this is um, what I believe to be uh, fun and can be wearable. Like I think I'm like, I'm trying to adapt all of these uh, looks to every day, not maybe for the day, but uh, to go out in the evening. So I really hope you enjoy it. And it's kind of like a maybe a 60s inspired look and it's something different for me, maybe also with my new so haircut. I hope you enjoy it guys and uh, please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Okay, so today's look is inspired by the Rick Owens uh, fashion show. And it's just basically a really like um, precise line underneath the eye that extends outwards and really nothing on the top lid but I am going to put something so I already primed my eye and I'm using the bedhead this darker shade that's up here and just to give it like a neutral kind of base and then I'm going to start out with the NARS Laguna the bronzer so I already applied some to my ch um, to the like the hollows of my cheek I'm just going to apply some more just to show you just I applied it here and then still when my foundation was a bit moist I applied the benefit posy tint just to give me a bit of a tint on my cheeks so yeah so just a bit not too much and then maybe a bit on your forehead do the three kind of motion here okay then to finish it off I'm not gonna put any more uh, blush on. I think the posy tint does the job and I'm just going to apply some golden bronze from MAC and uh, I don't know if you can see it. Whoops! Yeah, this is it. Okay, and just take just a bit of what's on the lid and just apply it a bit over the cheeks to give some um, extra light okay okay so now <clears throat> so basically we can start out with the eye um, I'm gonna use um, the icy lotus from Mazayume which is the Japanese company and I'm gonna use the same brush I used for my uh, concealer which is just a regular old brush and as you can see, it's like an icy kind of white. And I'm just going to apply it a bit here to the top and blend it in with that primer just to give it some extra. And just maybe here in the corners too. Okay, so I just applied a little bit. I mean, the picture's not like that, but um, I like to interpret things. So now, um, when uh, you've are done that, you just want to take, this is the Shiseido, this color here. It's like a pinky shell. It's called shell. And um, I'm just going to take like a regular fluffy brush and just apply that all over the lid. And it really doesn't give much color, but... It just gives kind of a rosy, shelly kind of pink. And I think it's iridescent, so I think it's gonna go well. I mean, it has almost the same color as my skin, so it's like having nothing on, really. 
You're going to take any black uh, pencil eyeliner. I'm taking the TG uh, pencil eyeliner and I'm going to line my waterline. And I'm also going to put it on the top, but just I'm going to stop in the middle of my eye. So then if you want that to hold real well, you can use like a MAC Carbon or this is the Kiko one. It's like a really really pigmented black and an angled brush uh, The two I believe it's the 266 for Mac and you just want to apply the color inside your waterline So I don't know about carbon um, from Mac, but uh, this uh, Kiko one is extremely pigmented and as you can see all you need is really a bit and it goes that a long same way. same brush, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black gel liner and this is Noir and it's a Canadian company and I'm just going to um, use the black gel liner because I love gel liners. I'm going to start making a line right underneath and making it kind of thicker here in the outer corner and then bringing it in and making it thinner. So it's going to go like here, it's going to start in the center and then go out also. And go out and go straight out and then you want to connect it with the top lash and bring it down. Okay, so now what you want to do is that you want to fill in just a bit here on the top corner and just a tiny bit, not too much, So, because or else you're going to look funny, your eyes are going to look funny if you don't fill in this little corner okay, here. Okay, so make sure you don't kind of like wing it up, you just go like kind of straight, start here and then kind of like go straight a bit and then connect it. Then to help that eyeliner, you want to um, take Max Fix Plus, or this is just the Nivea uh, toner, and I put it in this little spray bottle, and it just it does the same trick because it has glycerin in it. I mean, and then you want to spray your brush, and you want to use a. This is from Colistar, and you can use it. It's a black with like some gold um, particles. And you can use these eyeshadows wet or dry. So I'm going to use it wet and just go over everything. Okay, that's pretty much it. Then you want to curl your eyelashes and then put mascara in, and I'm using the voluminous one. Okay, and for the lips, I'm not going to use any lip liner, and I'm just going to use the um, always, always the Maza Yume uh, lip glaze, and it's called uh, and it's called Amadine. Okay, and it's the candy lip glaze, and these are just like my favorites. I don't know why I didn't have them as my uh, monthly favorites. Okay, and you don't need any lip gloss on this because it's just gorgeous and it stays on. So it's like a kind of a neutral. Let me show you. So this is the color. It's a really warm, warm pink with some like apricot in it. So I think it goes well with all of the like kind of weird look and stuff. Okay, so anyway, that's my first look of the... Um, uh, back in black series. So I hope you enjoy it and see you in the next video. Bye